Hey yo, thank you for joining me today. My name is Louis, and this handsome chap over there, that's Eddie, Agda, but we call him Eddie. Um, today we are playing the demo for Thaumaturge. Now, I have had this in my wishlist for quite a while, and because it, I, it's the kind of game I favour, I think, amongst all of the games, um, the isometric RPG is probably my favourite kind of game. And I've I've heard good things about this. I, I try not to do, I try not to watch too much gameplay and stuff of games that I'm really excited about because I don't like I don't like it to be spoiled. I don't like to know too much. I like to go in blind. But um, this I'm very excited about. Thaumaturge is a isometric story-rich RPG with a unique take on turn-based combat, character development features, and investigation mechanics. Facing you with morally ambiguous choices, set in a world teeming with mysterious powers and strange ethereal beings called Salutors. The year is 1905. This looks so good and I can't wait to play it. So we're going to do the demo and as always if you like this or any of my other videos and you haven't subscribed then subscribe! Uh, and let's play the demo. Thaumatar is a word deriving from Greek, it means miracles. A thaumaturge, or a tempromancer, is one able to discover secrets lingering in persons or places. They recognise flaws or stigmas imprinted on the human psyche and can bring them to the surface. Are they a doctor of souls? Ooh, uh, doctor of souls! That sounds good. It's impossible to fully name the essence of a thaumaturge without being born one. I did, I must admit, I did Google the word thaumaturge because I can't speak, so I didn't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> and I didn't want to look stupid. Mm, I'm excited. For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately Lydia. more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize now your then, face. Now then, I know that name. I it's don't a, know if I'd recognize you if I saw it. It's a post story. <laughs> I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Ooh. Remember, you're not alone. Oh, is that a good thing? I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, not a good time that air, is folk mystics, often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. Oh. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. True. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have. Ligia. Like, yep. Yeah. 
Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Is that because I look like shit? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. D uh, I didn't ask for you to thank comment you. on my appearance. What's your message? Thank you. Oh. Uh, go ahead and dictate your message. First, play trick on him. No, uh, we don't need to do that. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. End payment? On receipt. Yeah. Anything to add at the end? Uh, send greetings to your sister. Aggravate your father. I really want to aggravate my father, but I won't. Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. Fuck off! <laughs> From whom? My name is Viktor Shulsky, S-Z-U-L-S-K-I, and Viktor with a W, not a V. Yeah, Interesting name. Thanks. Where's this headed? Warsaw, Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere, on every map. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. Pardon? Nothing. I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. Looney. Hey! I should have played a trick on you, you bastard. I was nice and I didn't. Can we fool you around all locations? Ooh, so you can. Can I help you? No, you can't. Uh, dear Antoni, 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 it feels like ages have passed since your last letter. Or maybe I'm. Maybe it's just the winter that makes everything good. That makes everything good and warm seem distant. As you can guess, the life of an exile does not spoil me. Years ago, I was uprooted from my homeland and sent to a foreign land among foreign people to fight under the Russian banner. And how am I today? I live among people who hate me. I'm losing my health and my mind. I'm cultivating the land that I fertilize with the blood and flesh of its sons. And I can't leave here. I can't stop reminiscing. Death seems to be my only means of escape. Please pray for me. P.S. I don't think this letter will make it through the censorship, but if it does, please tell Anil Anilka that the thought of her brought me solace until the very end. Uh, I don't want any emotions, thank you. <laughs> Even delicate. Tijanko. Please, stop with the gentry snobbery and listen to what I tell you. Times are changing. You can no longer rely solely on property ownership. The peasants are different now. <laughs> and it's not all... And it's not at all clear how things will turn out in the coming years. You just have to look. Wherever you turn, you hear the you hear about revolts and peasant guerrillas going going at the lords with pitchforks. We have to protect ourselves. Have something on the side, some business that will allow us to live with dignity. That's why I'm telling you for the last time: go to the bank in Tiflis and take a loan against half of our assets in the Caucasus. Uh, invest in the ore business in ba Baku. The railroad is already getting there, and the world needs ker kerosene. You need to act. I'll send you all the documents and authorizations. Don't delay any longer. Right. Railway station. Deception. As a thaumaturge, you possess exceptional perception. You can see things that are hidden from sight. You can anticipate the enemy's actions. You can follow traces of emotions, thoughts, actions, words, and you can reach your goal easily. 
Really? Use perception to follow the path to your goal. Ooh. Oh, bloody hell, he moves quick. Jesus. Hello? Okay. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, if you've got reason to be there, climb in. Yeah, all right. Say thank you and get in. Ask if there's a healer in the village. Ask if I'll wait for you a little longer. Say thank you and get Be in. Be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. All right. Nothing to see around here. This is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there past the little square up the steps. You got no They'll lashes. tell you where that creature's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. I can fiddle in these settings. Epic, no wonder. Find a miracle worker in the tavern. That's better. I had to turn down the settings, it was set to crazy high. That's some rest you deserve it, thanks. Thanks, I agree. Protective charm made of strings, sticks, and feathers. It's supposed to protect the residents from the influence of evil powers. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm very gassy. This. Soon the day will come when the people will throw off their hated shackles. With one stroke of the mighty arm, Hardened by work and struggle with misery, they will get rid of the despised Tsar. May the recent events, so agonizing for many, be a torch that will, that will kindle the flame of a just revolution. It will only take a few people to raise their heads proudly and abandon their work for the flame to become an inferno that will consume the oppressor and cleanse our lands. It is already happening. Workers in major cities are preparing for action, and the country folk are also joining the fray. The hour of trial is upon us. That was Lockloom's heart. It goes well with the tune of lamp. You guys already got what's yours this- Mulchard, we're here to keep order, and that don't come free. It's getting colder, so the price is getting higher. Hey, there! Nice woods. They were- None of your fucking business, pal! Show no fear. You're not looking for trouble. Uh, yeah, fuck off. Not show no fear. Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. I do not. And you sooner or later, it'll come back to bite them. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. We got to sort out formalities with this tourist. Fuck off. There's an army. We're the Tsar soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. Agreed. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. Nope. Nope. Shot. Aware. Victory conditions. When your enemies lose all their health points, you win the fight. Well, that's tend to be how fights go. Thanks. The enemies. <coughs> 
The enemy's health points are shown on bars below their feet, while your health points are represented by a bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. Start the fight! Come on then, let's have yep. What's that? Ooh, quick attack. Planned attack. Let's just go with a quick attack. Punch of rating. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, got me in the gut. Ow. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, kidney punch. Oh, yes. Action Q. Perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's actions to find out what they're planning. Unfold the action queue at the top of the screen. Right. Uh, each skill has its own speed. Slower skills are more powerful but require preparation, bringing the risk of an enemy attacking first. Right. Yes! You can block or move, you know! <coughs> Do it again. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking have that, you bastards! There's the Ruskies right. Yes. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. What? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Some cripple? What? All right. Well, uh, ha! Is what I've got to say to you. Don't fucking mess with me, pal. Oh! <gasps> I could pet the. I want to actually pet him. Oh god, I love dogs in games. Oh, and any animal, to be fair, that I can touch. I go in here. In, get in. Get in. Oh, whatever, I pressed the right button. Get in. Find the miracle worker. So, one of these chaps isn't. Oh, him the thing on his head. What's this first? That. Our correspondents report that the newly appointed governor, general of the Yerevan province, Prince Napoleon Louis Joseph Jerome <laughs> Bonaparte, has just arrived in town. The highest officials were present at the welcoming ceremony, followed by a dinner with representatives from Yerevan's most eminent families. The governor general's address to the townspeople is expected in the next few days. Right -o. Oh my, it's getting stuffy. <laughs> Someone's getting stuffy. Oh, uh, hello, missus. There's always something going on here. It certainly looks like it. Poor was one already, innkeeper. Yeah, you've had one too many. Oh, here we go. Oh, what, hello? <laughs> Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Oh, I think it's a woman, you know. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, sir. I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for Could a very long time. And, and you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. All right. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings, even hopeless cases, inexplicable ones. And what do you believe in? Fucking nothing. No, I'm joking. Um, so you believe in his mir miraculous power that so you want to see for yourself? I want to see for myself. If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. 
I'm a thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. Where are you coming from? Explain how you tracked him down. So you're born in Warsaw. I'm from Warsaw. So, from Russia. Yes. Poland. Oh. From which Poland? The which Russian Poland? one, the German another. one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path, I've already come across people who've lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Look, I know how it sounds. Forgive my amusement. I haven't had my first coffee yet. Well, I I've had plenty. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to oh, say. Oh, bloody hell, we're in a crowded tavern. Am I supposed to? Admit you're not at the height of your power. Accept the challenge! What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. Oh god, anything else? First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I will use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. <laughs> Prayer beads. Time-worn prayer beads with 30 woolen knots. The zeal gushing from the beads impregnates the wool better than the tallow from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rapture, purple passion and graphite fierceness. The touch of the bead burns but, it's, oh, but it also attracts Rasputin. Your conclusion. Rasputin's wish. Rasputin has a magnetic zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be careful not to get burned by the flame of his ardor. 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 <laughs> Whatever. Smell this. That's really funny. Uh, say that you've got everything you need. I'll return to you in a moment. I can hardly wait. Uh, broken bottle. Observations are information that you acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions, a valuable source of knowledge about the world and events that can help you with in different situations. Thaumaturges possess perception which allows them to read other people's emotions, actions, words, and thoughts left on items. In order to recognise them you must develop the heart, deed, the heart, deed, word and mind dimension sufficiently. What? Traces. On some items you will find a trace of someone's personality. It takes one of three forms. Unknown. You see it for the first time. Familiar, you have seen it before, but you're not certain who it belongs to. And certain, you know exactly who left it. Traces are only revealed once you pass the test of perception on the item. Use perception to reveal what is hidden. Oh, this boot hurts my guts. Hello. Dirty bowl. I don't ah! Stand fucking still, you fanny! I haven't read that. What's he doing now? That's fucking. I want to read what it says. Oh, fuck off then. I'm up here. Prayer book. An ornate prayer book containing prayers for the Russian Orthodox Rite. It vibrates with a languishing moan of delight, the touch of silk. 
The scent of courtly powder. But what? But that which is softened, warm, is also pierced by the thorns of impending separation and longing. Trace certain Rasputin. <laughs> Who would have thought there was such loads of passion within him? Uh -huh. Oh, what's that? Hair cloth. A penit penit penitential device for voluntary self mortification of the body. Trace unknown. Hey. Hey. What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I've not finished yet. I haven't finished yet. In Petersburg, he left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Thanks. Tell me again, why were you looking for me? I don't know what problems you've got. Ask about the lady in waiting for people. I don't care about the lady waiting. <sighs> a few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind... I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. Oh dear. I don't know if I can help you. You bloody better! So you can pay him well. I'm not prepared to beg. I beg for nothing. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your reach is the floor of pride. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. Yeah, well, just give it a go, why we not? We can try. Yeah, go for it. Focus on my voice. Okay. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me in. It's sweaty. Ooh, okay, where the feck are we now? Find the way, shadows of sins past. I need to get out of here. Yeah, no sh sh shite you do. A sound shackle. Ooh, uh... Don't anything. Hello? You're blind. Who are you? You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? Apparently not. What, what do I supposedly not, not see? Ha! <laughs> Flaw <laughs> clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. Ah, the father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. 
You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. What is it with fucking feathers? Bunch of cunts. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? Well, I fucking hear Summit. What the fuck is that? I can see, Father. Clearly. Ooh, uh, look at that. I like. I like. Oh, uh! <laughs> Bloody hell. Hello. Oh. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. Um, sorry. <laughs> How fucking long have I been out? Where's that bloody guy gone? Where's Rasputin? I'm in the so cemetery, down to burst into song. Chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? No, not particularly. <sighs> yes, yes. Absolutely. Oh, we do look a bit better. I wanted to sweep. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. You can sweep. I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. Yeah. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? No. Sorry, love. I uh, was talk to myself. praying. I wanted to sweep. All right. <laughs> Looks like. Find the person with the floor that the wild salutor is seeking. Uh -oh. Outside we go. Multiple objectives. Quests have multiple objectives. Purely switch for the one you'd like to track. After switching, the objective will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is, myster is so mysterious that it eludes even an experienced, experienced thaumaturge. No worries, the remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. Right. Uh. I'm going to do that one first. I got there. Oh. Let me. I can do something with shadow. Shadow. Oh. Shadow. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Oh, sorry, love. Uh. I'll gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. I'll, I'll help you. Hmm. It's not yours, don't oh, touch! Sorry! All these newcomers causing more problems. Um, I was... okay. <laughs> that same thing. I don't know, I've got a red thing on it. Oh, I mean because we've already uh, discovered it, I guess. Oh, 
Ooh, little goats. Put down here. Note to note. Be mine, secret wooden box. A hand carved and elaborately painted wooden box. Face unknown. Dish shards, broken shards of blue ceramic dish. The broken ceramic, the, the broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. The quarrel erupted suddenly, spewing out bile of mutual complaints and grievances. Its sweet and pungent taste stupefied, compelled, screaming, a finger pointing, and hurting. The frenzy lasted until all involved were out of breath. Oh, Trey certain Vesna. Ah, right. <laughs> Damage axe shaft. Damage axe shaft, the trace it bears does not belong to Vesna. The shaft is overgrown with the thorns of bitter words, but there are others, warm, delicate as rose petals. They betray a love for someone who's not afraid of thorns, a love that is difficult but not accepting of violence. <laughs> Your conclusion domestic squabbles. In this house lives a married couple who do not mince their words. They argue violently, loudly, until they're out of breath, but they persist together despite everything. Well, it doesn't sound like a good marriage to me. Shouldn't be yelling at your spouse. Runner? I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away, or I'll call for help! 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 Somebody help me! <laughs> Alright! What are you doing here, you tramp? Hey! I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, alright. You're calling a fucking tramp, you ugly bastard. Am I gonna die now? Strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all of their focus, causing them to enter the breakdown state. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. Right. Select the distraction skill to lower an enemy's focus. You and your salutor each have their, your own separate set of skills. Plan which you want to use and give the salutor an, an appropriate command. Reduces focus. Strong attack opportunity. The enemy has lost all of their focus and is now in the breakdown state. This is a great chance to launch a strong attack. On cushion. Uh, eerie intoxication. Inflicts damage. Restores your health. Don't really need that. Bloody penance. Inflicts damage. The target's health points determines how much damage the skin inflicts. The more health points, the higher the damage. Right, well, there you go then. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah, what's that? That's a tickle. Go on then. Um Focus. Could 
้ลงไปเลยเอ้า you little bastard concussion you're getting a fucking concussion uh restore your health that one oh yes enemy defeated you're getting fucking Get confused, motherfucker. Concussion. You're gonna fucking heal me. Why isn't he doing anything? I don't really get it, to be honest. Are you? Yeah, you're still. Okay, you've got to do it every. Oh, he is. Nice one. Your little stick pal isn't gonna do nothing. Go on, give him that good wallop. Yes. In the gut and in the chops. Ha! Fucking suck on that, you motherfuckers. The devil sent you. Yes. You can you say that. It. Sure. Don't mess with me. If thinking interferes with their actions, so much, so much the worse for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reason. Something is not right here. Yeah, they do seem to be a bit, uh, uh Well, tetchy, shall we say. Where are you? What's this? Oh, dead goose. Someone or something strangled this goose! From the goose's twisted neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotion carries no desire for meat or feathers, only the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to... When I find who strangled this goose, they are going to get utterly fucking screwed. I do not For accept my that. my dead body, I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said Ogden. what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not, not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here, Stole the memento of my mother, and this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too. Because you strangled mine. And what do I care uh, about some trinkets goose. your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? If you strangle the goose, there is no justice. For you. Uh, the conflicted neighbours, a dead goose lies between the quarrelling peasants, the obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she'd better do it quickly. It will come to fisticuffs! Oh my god, I haven't heard the term fisticuffs in ages. <laughs> it seems that the neighbours quarrelled over a goose strangled in an act of revenge. A classic of the genre. Okay. <laughs> Support the wise woman's verdict. Oh, uh, I don't know who's who. Is he? Is this chap the? Is he the one that? I'm taking, is he the one that strangled the goose? Because I'm not taking this back inside. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, yeah, listen to the woman. I agree. All, it's, uh, I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. All right. Always listen to wise women. 
Salt on the doorstep. Salt on the doorstep protects from unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. Like demons! Wise woman's cottage. Ooh, can I like snoop for your shit? Diary of an oblate priest. Whoever that is. They say that every nation has its demons. Its phantoms, ghosts and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. I have gone halfway around the world preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends and devils cursed by gods are real and they are everywhere. In distant Sermia, people whispered the name Bukovac. A cruel beast whose presence begins brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbours. A fairy tale, you say? But I have seen Bukovac. Here, in Pyat. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I heard the rattle of his chains and felt his fangs digging into my neck and tugging at every fire of my soul. We did hear chains at some point. And I felt the fury that this wrath brings with it. The anger from which there is no escape. The taste of blood in my mouth that no prayer can erase. May the holy walls of the oblate church stop this beast. Blessed Virgin, keep me safe. Unfinished letter. So so. My dear son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write with, about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land and your blood? I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us. Nor, nor when you went to Tiflis to study. And now you're calling us stupid. Backward. You, you repeat after the rector of yours. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody with a long, complicated name. That Georgian, your language, is the language of dogs, and you want to write to me only in Russian? Child, Georgia flows in your blood. She is the salt in your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce her, aunt. Well, matures your point. What are the points of all? Wise woman. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. <laughs> oh. Fair enough. Something continues to elude you. Keep searching. Accuse her. Oh. Taking advantage of the superstition. No, I'm not doing that. Something continues to elude you. Keep searching. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. So I haven't uncovered enough to say anything. Well. I'm to let me pick anything. You've been going in so many... Well, uh, a lot of people choice. benefit from your wisdom. They're superstitious and timid, as far as I've been able to figure out. Easy to control, right? Pot calling kettle. That, my boy, that you can ask that charlatan with fancy dress and beard. Who takes advantage of who here? Bah! The people here are believers, of course. But the spirit in the village is real, too. I believe it. Uh, ask if she means Rasputin. Is this spirit you're talking about, not a person? I heard it howling. That's nothing human. One evil spirit here persecutes people, and you can hear it now and then, sometimes. Tragedies attract it, and impure thoughts. We here call Bukovac. it a Bukovac. But other places probably call it other things. An evil spirit's an evil spirit. It torments people and turns their weaknesses against them. And what if I told you I could get rid of it? I'd say I'll believe it when I see it. And I'd ask, how else can I help you? 
pays off. Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. Alright. Nothing else in here, is there? Alright. Poor dead goose. Uh, honestly, let's go and see him because I have something to say. You want? Excuse me, I need to get to the local cemetery. Oh yeah. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery? It's not like anyone there is going to run away. Wow. Look, my horse is more dead than alive. All right, all right, all right. I'll be right back. Manipulation. Using thaumaturgy, you can manipulate other people. First, you must know a person's secrets. You can learn by making conclusions if the manipulation is available. Character interaction icon will change and the upia will appear next to the character. Right, we need to find out about him to be able to manipulate him. Rag. The coachman used the rag to wipe the sweat from his forehead. The rag reeked with a sour odour of fatigue. Attempts to free the wheels on the soft soil made the spine crack like a fishbone and the muscles burned with fire and no one would help such was his job such was his fate shovel the shovel still shows traces of mud and ice the coachman tried to free the wagons the wagons wheels from the soft soil that had engulfed them Draw conclusion. The coachman is tired and weary. He's worked hard at unloading the wagon alone, and all he dreams of is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. How? Manipulate the coachman. I feel bad though, because he's tired. <laughs> is that stupid? I hate. Right. Difficult getting a point on him. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, make his coat. Ah, okay, good. Yeah, I like that. Make the coachman's fatigue go away. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. <laughs> well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery. I meant to take the horse out for a run, so get on. Thank you. Ooh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thaumaturge? Uh... I see him. My Uber. He's back. I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you. But do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. Ha! <laughs> yeah, fair enough. When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying Not for yet. rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. Ah. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see, to them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. 
They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. Doom! Locals say that since the death of the village elder, a doom has hung over the village. Minor quarrels immediately turn into bloody fights. And people are tense and withdrawn. Things are not looking good. Tell them they might be right. Ask the woman about the ill fortune hanging over the village. Ask about the district of death. That is death. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And yeah. the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. <clears throat> this could also be the work of a salutor. What do you mean? As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers in wailing at night. Wailing. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. She Does might be right. the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around and have a mouth full of giant fangs? A book of hatch. Where did the Zelda live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. Superstitions. A woman at the cemetery claims the village is haunted by a, light, a leech. Lich. 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 Whatever. His name is Buka Kovac. <laughs> Ooh. A peaceful and happy village? Not quite. The village are riled up. And on the point of breaking, laying the blame for their troubles on the actions of Bukovac. They are trying to defend themselves against this dark force with folk methods. Uh, going out. Is it for his burned home set? Uh, burned homestead. Yes. Wheat then Rasputin. Oh, no. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. Door frame. A destroyed door frame, by some miracle, it survived the fire. Fear has embedded itself deep into the fabric of the door frame. Fear of the flames and trepidation about losing a loved one. Place of death. A dried blood stain. It has soaked deep into the burned boards of the house. The blood sounds like suffering. It flowed quickly. The wound inflicted with the scissors wasn't large, but it was accurate. Life left the body, the heart went into a spasm, and the mind recognized the end. It lasted for some time, and then the flames came, and the pain resounded anew. Ooh. So it wasn't just it wasn't the fire that killed him. Oh, well, not the fire that started it. You look down here. This rag doll. A charred rag doll, it appears old. The doll is the doll is caked with a hard crust of fear. Its layers are like the varnish of an age-old painting, a, ch a child's fear, a girl's terror, a young woman's dread. They form a cocoon smelling of turpentine that constricts the throat and forces tears from the eyes. Trace certain, Vesna. 
go. That was Vesna, his daughter, granddaughter. Something is off. Belts. A charred old trouser belt with a heavy metal buckle. Okay. What's this then? This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house caught fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. Ooh. The murder gave birth to the floor that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. Oh, I know uh. this doll. Maybe I should give him back to her. She has to know more about what happened here. I'd say. I would certainly say so. Vesna's trace. The same trace can be felt on the rag doll and the item dropped by the woman. Vesna smells of fear, her nerves are badly strained, her heart is trembling, her fingers are stiff from anxiety and her mind wanders, lost in the wilderness of fear. I may be able to find her home and discover what's behind her jittery condition. Victor! Oh. I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Uh, yes, because thank you. I think it's time to get out of here. Ah. By the hurry, father. We are the Tsars, man. How about the donation for the Tsars? Oh, this, I'll give you a donation. There are no outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. <laughs> You're the guy who trashed our comrades? Yep. Uh, say yes and you will do it again. A proud answer. Not only draws, not only draws from your floor of pride level, but will also feed it even more. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Yes, you can do it again. I can do exactly the same to all of you. Feed the floor of pride. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. Ha! Yes, I do. Thank but you. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. Ooh, can anyone see him? I'm assuming with anyone that sees him. Um, right. Ooh, wait, improve thaumaturgy. Oh, we got points, baby! On the Grimoire's cover, there are available thaumaturgy points that you can spend on the tree, purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers, blah de blah. Alright, okay. Ooh, okay. Oh god, I like this, I like the look of this skill tree. Okay, what we got? We've got four points. Uh, gamble. Relaxation. I don't know if I've got two there. Uh, this upgrade adds a point to the dimension mind. Thief of four. Reduces focus by one additional point if the enemy is in this suffering state. This upgrade adds a point to the dimension D. Fortune gives a 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Uh, 
6% down chance of doing double damage. I, don't, I can't see where... Um, uh, each skill can be upgraded, place the upgrade in the designated spot on the skill icon. Place the upgrade in the designated spot and skill icon. Each upgrade takes the same space. Ah, I see. These are okay. It's a six percent chance of doing double damage. 50% chance of rupting the enemy's planned action. Um, gamble. 60% chance of doing double damage. That one. Those. Okay. Reduces the focus by one additional points, dimensions, uh, uh, increases deed. Makes every perfectionism, uh, makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage. Oh, fuck off. Should have put some on others. Uh, mind, I, it doesn't say where how many points we've got. I think it just said we had four, didn't we? D. Mind, I want more in mind. Ah, okay. The last one. The upgrade. Of course. Uh, totally good. Read then, you twats. I don't know how we're going to win this. Bang. Uh, inflict damage. Oh, yes! In this uh, diversion, yes, got punch, face punch. Are you all right, sir? Me, yes, but. Can these salutors also help you in a fight? Yes. Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're right, sir? Call me Grigori. Oh, we've got Let's first name back. basis. I have to visit someone in the village to tell me more about what happened here. If you're wondering why there's a cut and I have now got a line over my head. <laughs> I had to take a break to walk the dog and I wore a hat, which was a mistake because now I've got a red line over my head. But oh well. 
Just pretend you can't see it. Uh, okay, so we go back now. Uh, give the doll to what's her face. Get a wagon. Village. Yes. Trace. Vesna and her husband both left traces of themselves at the Vasili's burned out farmstead. Luca sincerely loves his wife. You think he loves her strongly enough to kill for her? Probably. You're right. It'd be better to ask Vesna about that. And ask her, we shall. Uh... I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please open the door. I, I'd like to have a chat about your husband. You'd better not be here when he gets back. He's not as talkative or polite as I am. I'm not scared. It is clear that this is not the first time Vesna has threatened someone with her husband. Luca. Must not have the best reputation in the village. Uh, I would say that's a firm definite. Residents see Luca as a sullen churl and a recluse. However, he seems to have a soft spot. Luca was at Vasila's house on the night the murder and fire took place. I know you're scared, but please just open the door a crack and let me ask one quick question. Ooh. What do you Love want? Crack. Calm her down and make her feel safe. Please, don't be afraid. I just need to know where I can find your husband. He's chopping wood in the clearing by the forest. Oh, that was quick. Uh, do we need to leave to do that? Again? Yeah, sorry. This time it's a matter of life and death. Oh. How is your search going? Almost finished. Oh, I know best mate. attracting the Bukavach. Can you reveal that secret? It's Luca. It has to be Luca. Do you still want to catch that Salutor? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Despite the risk? I hope I can persuade you to come with me. That's an enormous favor you're asking me. I hope you'll be able to return it. I give my word. Did you hear? We're going to see Luca Bogosian. I'm not here to fight. I am. Luca! What you got there, bloody quick? Big tabs. You shouldn't have threatened my wife. I didn't! Why did you do this? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who brought the Salutor here. The spirit that you all say arrived in the village after Vasili's death. The Salutar is what's making fear consume you all and making you hot-headed. And it's because of your flaw which has been within you since the murder took place. 
A murder might just be about to take place. Cut off his head. Ah! Tear off his head before he opens his mouth again. Unless you're the one. Well, duh. Fucking obviously. Obviously, I. And I'd do it again if I could. Uh. Yep. Get out of here. No. Chant. Here you are. Ooh. The Book of Art. Vesna's floor is mine. And you're. Where? Fighting wild salutors. To defeat a wild salutor, you must get rid of the shadows that protect him. Vanquishing the shadows will weaken him, but the weaker he is, the more fiercely he will fight back. The bar tells you when the wild salutor sends more enemies against you. Oh, good lord. Right. Uh, right, whatever, let's just go for it. Got a lot of uh, focus, that chap. No, Mimi, lie down. No, no, you're not sitting behind me. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. That was weak! Bukovac has caused you to enter the suffering state. Oh, gee. Uh, states can have a benign or potentially deadly effect. Read their descriptions carefully and don't get caught off guard. Receives damage 3 to 4 at the end of every round. Fuck off! Soldier health. Which damage the target's health points to. What are you doing? You anus. Oh, what? We're never gonna do this. Are you shitting me? Punch him! Oh yeah, heal me. Yes! Oh, Jesus. We're losing a lot of health. Oh, jeez. Oh no, that's her. Is that her or something? That's me. Oh no. We're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Ah! Oh. Right, let's try that again. Oh boy, okay.
I don't know how to remove that. Suffering states. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to do this because we're now the second, only the second fight, and we're already nearly dead. I think I'm worrying too much about the focus. I think that's what I'm doing wrong. And just twat him. Ow. Oh, wow. Ooh! She packs a punch! Oh my god! Right in the gut. Looking good, but now he can't do that, and now he's gonna do that, and then I'm automatically dead.
Why can't I just like target him? Oh, I see. Fighting them does hurt him. Oh, I see. Yeah. I don't really know how we're supposed to win this, to be honest. Fuckity fucked, yeah, I'm dead. That's really hard. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to win that. Oh god, I'm gonna get annoyed! I despise boss fights. I'm gonna say it, I hate it. I don't find it entertaining, I find it annoying. Fuck off! Yeah, I know. Fuck off. I'm trying to read what's underneath it. Implication. <sighs> Pack it in. Plus one. Uh, uh, I think. You lot are getting on my titties. I'm gonna get annoyed.
How is he not dead? Fucking will be in a minute, pal. Punch him in the stomach! No, right, that's it, fuck off. No, I'm not doing it anymore. No. That's it, no. No, I can't be arsed. It, that sort of thing gets on my titties. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I've done it like 15,000 times. <laughs> I've edited out some of the ones I've actually done. You've only seen a couple of them, but I've done it 10 times and it'll have the same results. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm doing something wrong and I'm annoyed and I'm not completing it. <laughs> that's all there is, so. Don't come at me. Not that anyone's going to see this. No one's going to see this, probably, so it doesn't really matter. So, I enjoyed what I've played very much. Um, I will probably play this, the full version when it comes out. I don't really like boss fights and things. I find them stressful, and I find that very stressful because it's the same outcome either way. That kind of knocked me a little bit, but all in all, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the investigating stuff, you're using your powers and like, I've really, really genuinely enjoyed it. It's just, I don't like boss fights when they're really hard. If you enjoyed that, <laughs> then give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Fucking hell, bastards.